What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. I know it's been a minute, man. Um, I've just been missing the games. Um, getting home late when I do get home. Some of the games have been unwatchable games, like, by the time I get home. Um, but now the Hornets are on a two-game win streak. I didn't see the next game, but I did see their first quarter in the fourth quarter of this Pistons game, and that was enough for me to get up here and make an episode just because I haven't made one a long time. And I like making content. I want to make content, so I had to get up here and make something for you guys. Um, if you didn't get a chance, I don't know if they dropped it yet, but on Tuesday, I did an episode with um, All Hornets, and that shit was, was great. Shout out to James uh, Plowright, and uh, shout out to Trust the Boys, um, Darian, and there was somebody else up there too. His name was Chase. Shout out to him too. Yeah, that shit, that shit was cool on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, grateful to be on that. Because they're a Sports Illustrated, a Sports Illustrated channel dedicated to the Hornets. So that was like big and, and cool to, to, to be on that platform. But anyway, um, getting to tonight's game, um, this was supposed to be. Mark Williams and Jalen Duran's face off, which we haven't really got a chance to see because like each time we play, one's one's playing and one's not. Um tonight was the first time to actually get to see them play, but Mark Williams got hurt. He tried to come back and play through it, but ultimately he just got he just got shut down. And um there'll be some reevaluation and see how he feels because I don't. They didn't show his finger, or at least I never saw it. Um, but Eric Collins said like he was facing the wrong way, so it probably got dislocated or whatever. Got popped back into place by trainer Joe Sharp. Um, he came. He came back in, shot his free throws. Which if a player doesn't shoot his free throws after an injury, he can't come back. So he shot his free throws, missed both. Um, came out, went to the locker room. Mm. Tried to come back, it just wasn't working out. Shut him down. Um, somebody like Mark Williams, we we've seen how how he is now. So at this point, we don't need to even risk it to see what he can give us. We know what he can give us. Let's just keep him healthy. Um, still had two points and four rebounds, but yeah, it sucks to not be able to really watch him and, and Durant go at it the whole game because you know they're just tied together now forever. With the with the trade on draft night last year, so yeah, hopefully. Well, I think it's the last time we play the Pistons, but if we do play them again, hopefully, we actually get a chance to see them go at it head to head. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into these stats because it's kind of late. Going to Hayward, play like shit. Um, two points, one for nine from the field, zero for two from three. Um, lately he had been playing pretty good, so. This is this is kind of like a surprise just because, like I said, he had been playing good and playing some of his best basketball for us by far this season, these past few weeks. So, a game like this is kind of like, hmm. I mean, you got three turnovers, um, two fouls, but he still had a block, six assists, but only two points um, and a negative eight plus minus in a game that you win by double digits is pretty crazy to have almost a double digit negative plus minus when your your team won the game by ten points. Um that that is kind of wild. Um PJ Washington, twenty points, five rebounds, two steals, three blocks. He had four turnovers himself, but he still had a plus fifteen plus minus. And um PJ's been playing some great ball, man. He's been playing some great ball. Um He's came back from his injury. And he's playing just like he was before he got hurt. He's playing some of the best basketball, I think, of his Hornets career. Um, ever since the trade deadline, P.J. Washington has been a totally different player. Um, I'm happy for him because this is the P.J. that, I, that I, I expected this season. Not to say I necessarily expected him to be a 20-point-per-game scorer, but, I mean... I expected high teens, low twenties, if possible. Um, this is this is what I know he's capable of doing, 
And with PJ, it's always been the same thing since the damn near his rookie season. Can you do it on a nightly basis? And, you know, since the trade deadline, he's been showing us that. So, hey, bro, keep hooping PJ. Even, even on a night where he shoots 20% from three, for him to still have 20 points, he was aggressive, 7 11 from the free throw line. Um, it shows that he's he's growing as a player, which is really what we need. Now, it's going to be interesting to see Miles comes back. You know, does he stay at the four? Does Miles go to the three? However, you know, does he keep playing the same with Miles there? That would be interesting to see. And we need to go ahead and bring Miles back, bro. Shit, it's March, bro. But I don't know. Anyways, happy for PJ Washington. Uh, Mark Williams already talked about him and, and his injury. Oubre, 27 points. And, bro, he's been fucking hooping, bro. Like, he's been hooping. I think he's averaging, like, 26 points since he came back or something, something crazy, bro. Something crazy. Um, bro, I'm just shocked this man had no trade value. I know he was hurt, but he was literally playing the best basketball of his, of his career before he got hurt. And he's still fucking hooping. I mean, 27 points, four rebounds, two assists, a steal. And, you know, shout out to Kelly for passing the ball because, you know, a lot of times you look at Kelly Oubre's stat sheet and that shit says zero assists. He's been passing the ball lately. <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm happy for Oubre, bro. Like, this team is not that bad. We just need to fill in the blanks a little bit. And we could be okay. Um, I mean, 9 for 16 from the field, 56%, 57% from the three-point line, bro. This is efficiency. To have damn near 30 on efficiency, 5-5 five, five from the line, this is the biggest growth of Kelly's game from last season to this season. His efficiency, he's very efficient, bro. His defense has improved i'm not gonna say he's very efficient but lately he's been efficient his defense has improved from last season um i would have no problem bringing back kelly Oubre. i really i really wouldn't especially considering that he wants to be here moving on terry rozier 21 points no turnovers and nine assists is the first thing that jumps out to me um playing in that point guard role and uh, you know i've been getting him a little bit about his about his uh passing ability and uh, to have nine assists this is the first time, I think, since LaMelo's been out, he's led the team in assists. Usually it's been Dennis Smith Jr. off the bench. Um, got a loud-ass car, fucking need for speed-ass car. Um, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's a lot of so. Ter uh, um, anyway, Terry Rozier having nine assists and zero turnovers is super impressive to me. Um, unfortunately, he's one for seven from three, shooting 14%. And two or five from the free throw line, which is um, un just unacceptable, considering that all three of the missed free throws were in the fourth quarter. So it's just like, you know, if this game would have been tighter, that could have had great significance. Um, you just don't want your starting point guard shooting 40% from the free throw line, no matter when the free throws are taken. You, you don't want your starting point guard shooting 40% from the line. But I'm just still... Really shot at his nine assists and zero turnovers. Uh, that's good for him. The the shots weren't that efficient. I mean, he still managed to stay above 40% from the field. But it's a three-point line and free throw line that I have problems with. Um, and it resulted in a plus zero, plus minus. So, hey, no harm, no foul. Nick Richards, 13 and 10 in 29 minutes. Um, this is the, the first time we've actually seen him get extended run in quite a while. But he does have a double-double. And he has two blocks and a steal. Um, I like Nick Richards. I, I'm still high on Nick Richards. Um, I think him and Mark can be a good tandem for years to come as long as we just, you know, give them the minutes to do so. I, I love them both, man. I really do. Um, JT Thor, two points, one steal, zero assists, two rebounds in basically 10 minutes. Um good stat line for him i guess um yeah i'm not gonna be too hard on him this time um yeah i don't know two one two typical jt thor line in 10 minutes good good for him um i don't know Dennis Smith jr 14 points three steals like bro i literally like i said i i watched the first quarter watched the fourth quarter all i see is Dennis smith stealing the ball in the fourth quarter that's all i see bro like He's a dog when it comes to stealing the ball, bro. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and, you know, that results in a plus 11, plus minus 87 for 10 from the field. Um, 
0 for 1 from 3, which is what I want to see from him. Not the, you know, making zero threes part, but just, bro, just shoot one. Like, I don't need to see you shoot three, four threes a game to know that you don't. You, can, you can't shoot well. Just go ahead. Okay, you 0 for 1, cool. Just just leave it at that, bro. I don't mean keep shooting, bro. Go ahead and attack the basket because you're athletic as fuck. Bryce McGowns, four points, but still a plus 13, plus minus. Um, I'll admit, in the in the time that I watched the game, I did not see Bryce McGowns on the floor, so I'm not really going to comment on his play because I didn't see it. Um, I'm trying to think if I saw Mahalo Luke on the floor. I think I saw him for a little bit in the fourth quarter, but I don't know. But I'm happy that Bryce McGowns is playing, though, but I really want him to play well. Like, I want, I'm high on Bryce McGowns, bro. I need him to have good games. <sighs> That's how I'm tired, man. This 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 is why I haven't been making content the last few days, man. Get home late, tired, miss the game or a portion of the game. And, you know, I'm not the type to try to get up here and pretend like, bro, if I ain't watch the game, I'm not going to get up here and pretend like I watched the game. Um. So, yeah, but... I did watch this shit, so I can speak on it, but I'm tired, bro. But Kai Jones, bro, this is what I really want to talk about. Kai Jones, four points, three rebounds, a block, a steal, highlight dunk. Um, This is why I'm just, I want to see Kai Jones play basketball. His motor is so high. He has such a high motor, bro. Oh. Um, <gasps> and a plus 11, plus minus. And he outplayed JT Thor tonight. So I'm happy for him because I think he deserves his minutes. Um, JT Thor, let's look at it. He had two rebounds. Kai had three. He had one assist. Kai had none. Um, they both had one steal. Kai had a block. JT didn't have a block. So, um, and JT had 2,009 minutes. Kai had none. Plus 11, plus minus, plus one, plus minus. Go ahead and give Kai Jones his minutes, bro. Like, we, we've seen plenty of JT Thor to know exactly what he is, bro. Let's let's play Kai 15 minutes, 20 minutes for the rest of the season so we can see exactly what he can do. That's just how I feel. I want to see Kai Jones play basketball as much as possible. Um, he's always a walking highlight, man, and he just has such a high motor. Similar to Dennis Smith Jr., He's running around and he just doing shit, bro. It just energizes everybody on the floor. I want to see it. I want to see it for real. But anyways, I'm about to wrap this up, y'all. It felt good to make a video because it feels like I haven't made one and I don't even know how long. It really feels like it's been a long time. So I apologize for the hiatus. I'm trying my best to get content out to y'all. Um, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I mean the world. I this this is what I do it for, man. Even when we're losing, when we're as I, I still try to make content for y'all, for my subscribers, bro. Um, and now we're on a two game winning streak, so that makes it even that much easier to to get up here and make content for y'all. But anyways, I will see y'all on the next one. Let me see who we play next. Let me look it up right now. play the jazz okay we're about to go on a, on a homestand i think this is the three game homestand i was talking about or maybe four games let's see yeah the jazz the Cavs, twice the sixers pacers okay it's a five game homestand so yeah jazz Cavs, twice sixers pacers i might go to one of these jazz one of these Cavs games sunday tuesday huh Sixers on Friday, Pacers on Monday. Hmm. I'm, the shop is closed on Monday, so I might fuck with this Pacers game. No, no, I'm going to win these games, bro. Definitely might be that Mavs game, though. That's too far away. I don't know. Anyways, I appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to offer your peace.